Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about neurogilia cells, so let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Now, when we're talking neurogilia cells, uh, we want to recognize that these are neuron support cells. These are cells that the purpose is just to protect and support in whatever way that the neurons need and uh, so it's kind of like if uh, you're a patient in a hospital and you've got your reg you got your room nurse uh, but there's custodial staff you've got the doctors that will come by uh, you may have a, a therapy person that comes by dietitian that come by there are a lot of people that might come by uh, to help you uh, in your in your uh, hospital stay uh, the neurogilia cells are, provide all those roles, and you can see that they 50 to 1, um, and they just have a lot of functions. There are six types that we're going to see, and we'll go over those types and uh, what their roles are. All right, as I mentioned, there are six types. Uh, four of them are only found in the CNS, and then two of them are only found in the PNS. So it'll be up to you to really uh, get those get those two groups uh, memorized, and of course the the functions and everything that they do. Uh, now this picture beside me here is, is pretty small, but it is in your PowerPoint and certainly in your book. And there's a bigger version, a larger version on the next slide, but again, uh, uh, fairly small, but we're going to try to point these out. We'll start with the yellow dendrites. Uh, if you look at the picture, there's one right in the center. It's kind of a, a bluish edge with a purple, uh, big purple in the middle. That's the yellow dendrites. They're the ones in the central nervous system that form the myelin sheaths around uh, the axons of the neurons so that's their role if you will look to the far l left of the diagram there's a long row going from the top to the bottom of yellow like cubital type uh, cells uh, those are epidermal cells uh, those line the uh, internal cavities of the brain again we're talking CNS so that's uh, the brain uh, you can't have in pinwheel cells in the PNS because there's no brain there. Uh, same with the, and in somebody else, or a different type of cell does the myelin sheaths in the PNS. Uh, the microgilias, if you will look in the diagram, kind of more towards the right, uh, there's two, one above, one at the bottom of the diagram, one kind of in the middle of the right. They're kind of the, like the light little purple, like spider looking things. Uh, those are microgilia. The other one to just kind of wander around and look to uh, phagocytize uh, any any foreign material, dead material. Uh, they're kind of like the lysosomes uh, of the of the neurogilia cells, uh, but their job is just to kind of clean up the area. They check on the brain and anything that they find that needs to be dealt with. Uh, they deal with it. Uh, the fourth member of the neurogia cells there in the CNS is the astrocytes. And you can see there's a, there's a lot of stuff there. You'll need to obviously pause this and, and uh, get all that. But they are just in charge of anything that the brain needs. Resources, protection, repair, uh, building, uh, whatever uh, it might need, uh, the astrocytes. And if you're looking at the diagram... Uh, to the to the left, just to the right of the uh, pinwheel cells that we looked at, there's the, like a re red tube. That's a capillary. It's not a it's not a neurogilia cell, but on that capillary is a little blue greenish uh, little circles, little pods, uh, feet of the astrocytes, and then they're also attached above it to the neurons. So they're the ones in charge of making sure the blood brain barrier. That we'll talk a lot about that when we get to the, the brain in a couple of chapters. But that blood-brain barrier has to be a tight one. 
you can't get, you cannot have any foreign material, uh, bacteria, viruses, whatever, uh, get into your uh, get into your your uh, brain area. You just can't you just can't have that. And you may be thinking, okay, well, what then? What about a head cold? Well, a head cold is not necessarily in your brain. That's your uh, nasal passages and, and that kind of stuff. So just keep keep that in mind. But the astrocytes is that bluish green thing attached both to the capillary below it and the neurons uh, above it. All right, now for the second group, uh, the of the six types, remember four were in the CNS, two in the PNS. The two that are in the PNS are the swan cells. Uh, uh, they're the ones that produce the myelin uh, sheath around the neurons of the peripheral nervous system. And, of course, the satellite cells uh, are there to kind of provide resources and to help uh, the axon uh, I mean in the soma and the axon to keep that to keep that electrical insert or signal going and just anything uh, that the neuron might need as far as resources or, or whatever the satellite cells are ready to go for that well that's our video over neurogenic cells we come back together next time we're going to be talking about uh, the myelin. So we'll see you then.